It's the Eagle Forum with your host, Gary Shorman. Welcome to the Forum. I'm Mike Kerner in for Gary Shorman this week. The Forum brought to you by Hayes Med. And our guest this week, Alyssa Deccan from Styles Dance Center. And, yep. and Styles Dance Center, kind of a cool place. We'll talk about that here in a second. But one of the things we, we brought Alyssa in for today is to talk about an award that she re received, statewide award. Actually, maybe it's a national award. We'll talk about that here <laughs> in the second half of the show. But first, what I want to do is I want to get to you and talk to you a little bit about this Styles Dance that you have. That thing started out small, and it's grown such such a large large venue now. Yep. Um, well, I started out about ten years ago. I think this is our ten year uh, year tenth year for sure. Um, with nine kids in a backyard garage that my husband converted into a dance studio, really just for me to dance in, and then I had a couple people just want to take lessons and it kind of just grew from there. So dancing, how did you start in dancing? When did you personally start in dancing? Um, I I think I was three years old when my mom enrolled me in a local dance class. And so you really just, didn't have any choice and you just did what no. they told you to yeah, do? Yeah, I pretty much just did what they told me to do and I've loved it ever since. So some of the dance that you do, uh, are there totally different styles that you like or do you use those same styles with the kids or do you let them have some influence? Um, it just kind of depends on what the kiddo uh, comes to the studio for. So I mostly teach jazz, lyrical, contemporary, ballet, and musical theater. Um, our competition students are required to take like a jazz technique class and a ballet class every single week in addition to their uh, routines that they learn for the year, whereas our recreational program is more of a combination classes and we kind of just offer a different variety of each of those styles within each one of those classes. So you say that you started when you were about three years old and were you one of those that traveled around to dance stuff all of your life when you were growing up or um, is it basically just in this area? No, I traveled, but not until I was like in high school. I was more on the recreational side up until then, and then in high school I got into the competitive side of it. So do you still enjoy, do you dance yourself still quite a bit? You know, as much as I can. <laughs> as much as you can. <laughs> Gotten a little I, old. Yeah, but I didn't know if there's still still competitions that you can get into, and, and maybe you, you're you out there with those kids too, showing them all the I routines I mean, there too. are competitions that do allow an adult category, but I, I just mostly love to watch the kids perform on stage and anymore these days. Was, was there a point in your life where you said, you know, I like this dancing and it's enjoyable and I should teach other kids how to do it or was it that maybe your kids wanted to do it and you showed them and it kind of led into that? No, my whole life. I told my parents that I was going to be a dance teacher my whole life. So, um, but I definitely do love the teaching side more of it, more so than I ever did even just the dancing side. Well, you know, we talk about teaching and there's so much more to teaching than just showing them how to do the dance. Do you have to give them tests? and stuff like that and do they have certain criteria they have mm -hmm. to meet along um, the way? We do if you're on the competitive team they do have like a ballet terminology test um, we don't do them like every week or anything like that but once they get to a certain point where we feel like they should have known this certain amount we then test them on it just to see where they're at. So you've got this dance studio that you've put and a lot of people have seen it on Main Street here in Hayes. You move from that garage in your backyard yeah. to this 8,000 square foot um, dance studio on Main Street here next to the fire department and City mm -hmm. Hall and um, seems like there's a lot of people there certain nights of the week. Yep, my uh, busiest, I, I would say my busiest nights are Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Um, and then we have a whole group of high school students that come on Sundays that for like all day and then um, Wednesdays is a busy night too just probably a little bit more calmer because of like all the religion classes that happen. Mm -hmm. So what age do you get kids at or do you have parents that inquire what what age do you see that at? Typically um, our kiddos start at around three but that doesn't it that's just like a general mm -hmm. age. Uh, we've had kiddos as young as one and a half before. It just depends on when the child themselves is ready. So how do you start out? Because it's a lot different from uh, maybe a two and three year old than it is a 16 year old. Mm -hmm. You've got a, the, the control and how do you get them to focus? So yeah, how, how do you just, do that? And do your parents stay with them? Um, well, my studio in particular has like viewing windows. And so the parents stay in the hallway and they, if they choose to, and they watch the kiddos from there. Um, when they're little, it's more of like a creative movement class really just getting him into the room without mom and dad and without tears 
numbers is a big success. Um, and then as they they get more and more used to it, we grow, like I said, by different age ages. We have like a curriculum that we've created for my studio, and that's how we go from each level. So what, what age do they start at with doing competitions? Just depends. It depends as yeah, well. also just depends on the kiddo. It depends on what the parents are wanting to put into it. Um, I've had, I think the youngest I've had is four years old. I think in only a few of them. But five and six, a lot of them start. And then some seven, eight's a pretty common age. Do the parents with, with the kids that are in your, your dance teams, uh, do they, they go off on their own to competitions with their parents or do you go mm -hmm. as a team? Most of it is as a team. And then each year I offer um, additional, what I call uh, optional competitions that if I have 10 or more students go, I'll also go. Um, but not everybody's required to go. A lot of them just take their solos. A lot of the younger ones that have duo trios, that's just like two or three kids they take those just for extra stage time. So when these uh, these kids do these competitions, are they local or do they have to travel and some of them far distances? Um, we, I think the closest one for us, I mean recently anyway, is Wichita. Um, and then the furthest I think we've traveled is St. Louis. So you've got, and then, then what age do they graduate and, and move on or, or decide? If you're lucky and you get them to say, there's just so many options for kiddos, uh, like sports through schools, cheerleading, stuff like that. But, um, I mean, they typically go off after they're done with high school. Okay. I've got a real big group, big group of high school seniors coming up in two years. We'll talk a little bit more about the, the, the uh, Styles Dance Center, and we'll also talk a little bit more about the, the award that you received. We'll get to that in the second part of the show. Again, our guest is Alyssa Deccant with Styles Dance Center, and it's on Main here in Hayes. We'll talk to her in a little bit more depth next in the next half of the show here on Eagle Communications Television. Be one of our weekly winners through football season with the Wolf Furniture Gallery's Gridiron Glory. <laughs> Players go to HazePost.com to pick weekly winners in the NFL. Prizes will vary. The best at season end will claim the grand prize, a complete living room set. Register at HazePost.com in the contest section. Football season could pay off big with the Wolf Furniture Gallery's Gridiron Glory. <laughs> Presented by Wolf Furniture Galleries, Eagle Marketing Solutions, HazePost.com, and Eagle Radio. someone in here with us? Ghost Hunters is back with a new team, better tech, and more answers. This is my favorite part of the night. We had to flee our home. I've been doing this for 30 years. I've chased the truth. Only with the truth can I truly help someone. Whoa! Ghost Hunters returns Wednesdays at 9 on A&E. Have you considered the value that quality video content can bring to your business? MidAmerica Productions can provide professional visual media to effectively engage your target audience. We're a full-service video production company serving Salina and surrounding regions for over 35 years. Whether you need videos for promotion, sales, training, fundraising, or other purposes, our experienced team can deliver for you. Find us online at mapvideo.net. That's mapvideo.net. Welcome back to the forum. I'm Mike Kerner in for Gary Sharman. If you have show ideas, Gary would love to hear from you. Gary.Sharman at Eaglecom.net. The show brought to you by Hayes Med. Alyssa Deccan with us today from Styles Dance Center. And we want to talk to you a little bit about, um, you know, you've had so many great dancers come through and, and people, parents just love what you guys do for, not, I say you guys because your whole staff, yeah. what you do for those kids and, and uh, help those kids grow up and you see them grow up. Uh, you've been doing this for a little while now. And um, I guess a lot of these parents have gotten together and kind of rewarded you on some stuff that you've done and you've helped with. Uh, you received an award here recently, and what it was was Outstanding Volunteer of the Year Award for 2019, and you received that on October 19th. Yep. 
Um, I, it's most of that was for our dancing together for the DSNWK show that we put on each year and have for the last three years. Um, and so I. I I, it's a really great show, and I'm really appreciative of that award. Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you a little bit about. How did this show come about? You said three years now. How mm -hmm. did it come about, and what is it all about? Okay, well, I've had the idea for a lot longer than three years. It's just art. I mean, as we've gotten the studio off the ground, we've moved three times with the studio, and just it's grown so much that we've I've never really had the staff or the students to really help take it on, but um, three years ago, one of my instructors, Macy Pfeiffer, she was in the Fort Hayes Leadership 310 team class, and she needed a, a project, and she had come to me, and she was just kind of asking, hey, what do you think I could do? Do you have any ideas? Just help, like, brainstorm, and I told her that I had had this idea for some time now, and then it kind of grew from there and snowballed from there. So it, it uh, happened, and then mm -hmm. uh, what was that first year like? I mean, your experience with that first year. <laughs> we didn't know what we were doing, but, uh, I mean, it was so much fun to just even meet the individuals that we worked with through DSNWK. Uh, we created friendships that were, I mean, beyond what we thought they were going to be. Um, we And we raised like $2,000 and we thought it was like the most amazing thing ever. <laughs> but then as it went on and on, our, our goals changed and it became a lot higher. I think this last show, it was a little over 13000 I think. Wow. Mm -hmm. So it's grown, it gets bigger every year. Mm -hmm. And what's the show like? I mean, if somebody wants to see it, how would they see that? Um, well, we try to start, we start in January with the leadership class. I've gone every year since then now, uh, Seth Castle's class usually. Mm -hmm. He invites people in, the students uh, decide if they want to participate in the project or not, and they kind of vote which project they want to be on, and then we're assigned a team. From there, that team comes and meets with myself, Sarah Biggs, um, and some of the staff at DSNWK, and we kind of start promoting it in January, and we start looking for sponsors, and we start looking for donations and prizes, like this last year we did a raffle, so that all begins in January. Um, usually in the end of February and March, we start to bring in the DSNWK individuals and they start learning a routine. This last year, we also did several smaller routines within the show with the individuals and we kind of themed it like Dancing with the Stars and then on your Facebook app on your phone, they could go in and vote with which routine they liked best. Um, so it's a lot of like behind the scenes planning, but the most fun part is definitely working with the individuals. So do you limit this on how many how many individuals you'll have, or is no. it just open to all? Um, it's open to all individuals through DSNWK, um, and they can sign up for it. Uh, I think we had. Four 40 maybe last year. I don't know the exact number, um, but it's grown every single year. We have more and more individuals that participate. Um, and like I said, there's tickets on sale usually by mid-March for the April show. And uh, it's at Beach Schmidt Performing Arts Center, so that's where you can see them. So you've got, you've got this, and they probably get excited and also pretty nervous about it when, when it yeah. comes dance time. <laughs> the first year, it, they were kind of nervous. Um, as they've learned what to expect and stuff like that, it's become just more fun than anything. So again, that comes up in typically April? Yeah, this year we just set our date last week, actually. As of right now, it's April 19th, so hopefully. tentative but, date. Yeah, tentative date. Um, just depending on the leadership class, I just like to at least get a date in there, um, and then we work towards that date, and then we'll we'll choose it for a final date in January when we get assigned that team. Is there some place online that has been recorded where people can watch it back if they hadn't had a chance to go um, to the show? Yeah, there's a Dancing Together for DSNWK uh, Facebook page that, that has all that on there. Okay, so that's some place that mm -hmm. some somebody can go. Well, I appreciate you coming in and talking about that, and congratulations yeah, on you. the award, and, and congratulations with the success at the Dance uh, Center. You. So we want to thank our guest today, Alyssa Deccan. Again, it's Styles Dance Center on Main Street here in Hayes. Our guest this week on the Forum. I'm Mike Kerner, and for Gary Shorman, the Forum brought to you by Hayes Med. Thanks for being with us.